How are you doing? You still all right? It's getting a bit warm in it. Get it together, P904 stroke 12, part one, edited, copy. And welcome. Well, we're back with lots of quizzes, music and fun, so come on, stand by to get it together. Right, and later in the programme we've got Nigel Jenkins and we've got Mark Bolan with T-Rex. <laughs> right, but first, first it's quiz time. It's boys versus girls and the winning team get an album from our album rack over there. Right, so we've got one minute, so let's see who's going to win. Let's get it together. Start with a girl. Right, Michelle, finish this Queen song title. Good old fashioned... Love a boy, score a point. Right, quick, Tim. Finish the name of this group. Eddie and the. Oh, 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 no, Gainer. Who recorded the hit album Bridge Over Troubled Waters? Simon and Garfunkel. Don't know. It's Simon and Garfunkel. Paul, according to the song, Sheena is a punk rocker. Who says so? Don't know. That's no, Ramones. Quick. Carol, I'm going to make you a star. Who said so? David Essex. Come on, quick, see if you can catch up, Nico. Which football team had a hit single with a song back home? No, it's England. Come on! Quick, Enet, Do the Funky Gibbon was a big hit for which group? Get the goodies! Yes! <laughs> Andrew, whose single is too hot to handle? He wins! He wins! He wins! Got a point. That's it, oh, Lynn. Who had the hit single, Spot the Pigeon? Genesis, no score. And that's the end of the contest. And the girls are in the lead by two points to one at the end of the first round. Great. <laughs> but right now, we've got a really nice song for you. And here, with the Get It Together band, led by Mike Moran, is Nigel Jenkins with his new single, Sugar Jojo.
second part of the quiz and today we've got some song titles on the boards but they're all muddled up and the teams have to put them back together again and write alongside the names of the artists that recorded them so off we go let's get it together quick <laughs> And we've got Good Morning Judge 10cc, Tokyo Joe, Roxy Music, well it's Brian Ferry if it's new enough. So you win again Hot Chocolate and Ain't Gonna Bump No More, Joe Tex, so the girls get four. <laughs> Woo, right, well the boys, let me see. The boys have got all the song titles but no name, so we better give them two points. They get half of it right. But the boys have got two. <laughs> right, now for complete change of mood, here's Roy. And she told him we must attend to her needs She's so much younger than you Well, he ran down the hall and he cried Oh, how could his parents abide? When they said he was the only son He thought he was the only
Hi there, welcome back to Get It Together. Now, as this is the last programme that Mike Moran will be appearing in our present series... What do you mean? Oh, he's gone to the States for eight weeks. Have a good time, Mike. But we thought it'd be a great idea if we paid a tribute to Mike and the boys in the band by singing a song. everyone and thanks to Mike and best of luck in America with Leo Sayer. Yeah, great. But right now, let's get back to a third round of the quiz. Girls are in the lead by six points of three. See if the boys can catch up. We've got one minute starting from now. We we'll start with a boy. Right, Gary, whose single is too hot to handle? Uh, don't know. It's heat wave. Quick. Dawn, which radio station frequency is 247? Radio yes, go a point. Quick, Peter. Heavy metal kids are a group. Which other group has the word kids in the name? Dead English. Dead English. kids, score a point. Quick, Susan, which group appeared in the TV show Pauline's Quirks? <laughs> Never mind. Russ, in the song Halfway Up the Stairs, what relation is Robin to Kermit the Frog? Susan! <laughs> no, he's a nephew. Quick, Karen, which member of the Osmonds had a hit with Too Young? Johnny! Johnny, yes, score a point. Quick, Brian, you're getting behind. What label? What label did the Rollers record on? <laughs> it was Bell. Quick, Tracy, who had hits with Wigwam Bam and Ballroom Blitz? <laughs> oh, they told you. <laughs> no, no points because you're shouting. You mustn't shout. Quick, Come on, Sean. A boy next. Finish this song title. I'm going to finish it. Finish the song title. No. I am the leader of the. the no. Score a point. No. And that's the end of the third session. And the girls are still in the lead by eight points to five. But right now, it's star time, and we really have got a big star for you today. He's been on the show before. He's here again to sing his new single. It's called Dandy in the Underworld. A big welcome back to Mark Boland and T-Rex. <laughs>
T-Rex, that was really great. And it's nice to see Herbie Flowers back with us again this week. OK, let's go into the final session of the quiz. Can the boys catch the girl up? There's 45 seconds, starting from now. Right, quick, Sue. According to their single, are the Muppets at the top of the stairs or the bottom? Bottom. No, they're halfway up the stairs. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, which member of the Osmonds had a hit with Paper Roses? Donnie. No, Marie. No. Quick, Wendy, quick. Who had a hit with the song Two Little Boys? Who had a hit with the song to Graf Harris? Yes, go a point. Right, David. Who does Kenny Rogers sing about? Lucy. Lucy, got a point. Quick, Jill, finish the name of this duo, Paul and Barry. Why? No. Um, Ra Ryan, I can't say. <laughs> Mark, what group does Steve Harley play with? Uh, Cockney Rebel. Oh, great, score a point. Quick, Mary, who had a hit with the oldie Rock Around the Clock? Uh, Bill Allen. Yeah, Bill Haley in the comments, is it? Oh, and who do we we'll finish with a boy? According to his LP, what kind of bells does Mike Oldfield play? Choo choo. No, it's tubular. And that's the end of the contest. And the girls have won by 10 points. <laughs> right, so at the end of the show, the girls will go and get their albums as their prize. But it's not quite the end of the show yet. Linda's going to sing us up to the end with Stevie Wonder's Sir Duke. We'll see you next week. Don't forget to join us because it's the last show in our present series. Stop to move. Like Ellis rang it out, there's no way the bank can lose. <laughs> 